What's going on everybody? Doc and Sloth, we're back into some Rocket League action and it's the perfect time because we have some news. We've got Season 5 for RLCS that was just announced and uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about that in this video and then we're also going to talk, uh, as a lot of people are doing, uh, a little bit of, uh, of update speculation. We should be getting the end of this competitive season, should be seeing the next one and hopefully that comes with a nice little update for us. So. Sloth, tell us what you know about Season 5. Uh, nothing. Was I supposed to research for this? Yeah, yes. Was I supposed to yeah, be ready? That was, that oh, was crap. kind of that's, part... That's not good. That was that was part of... Besides making six shots, that was also part of... The, and that dude instantly left. <laughs> <laughs> it's messed up, man. Uh, so, Season 5 of was RLCS good. was announced. <laughs> Uh, we have a little teaser trailer. We might show you a little clip of that. and We'll definitely put uh, a link in the description uh, to that actual trailer. It's pretty sweet. And we're actually getting a pretty sizable prize pool this time. Um, a pretty big jump uh, that I thought we would see sooner than we did. Uh, but we're getting it, so it's fine. Um, 500k, half a mil. That is a lot of money uh, to bring in. And I am totally digging it because that means that our wonderful esport athletes that are in this game can stay. They can really focus on Rocket League as as a big thing to, to really be a money-making endeavor. Um, so what that means for us is it's just going to be better for us. Uh, we're going to have better competition, uh, have these bigger tournaments with bigger uh, turnouts. I can't think of words, man. Words is tough. Yeah, turnouts, um, people, with, and you know, packed stadiums and stuff. And stuff. <laughs> it's going to be sweet. Uh, I'm, I'm really pumped for all that. Um, I'm really, I'm pretty big into uh, into the pro scene, um, which is, I don't know, I don't know what that says about me as a person, but I mean, I'm kind of digging it. I guess it means you like Rocket League. I don't, I don't. Know. Besides that, I don't know what else that means. <laughs> it means I'm a really good passer for that you like, guy. You like car uh, So the. Uh, the, the next thing that, that we're waiting to see that, that you kind of alluded to is not the next RLCS season, but the next competitive season. Um, that's something that I'm really kind of ready for. Um, I am about as high as I'm probably going to get. Um, I did a little bit of a series on threes. Um, I actually have quite a few videos left um, that I probably need to sit down and, and get them together. Um, but like, you know, effort and stuff, <laughs> whatever, um, that we can, we can Time, look at, um, I things. almost cracked, I, I was actually one game, one win away from champ three. Um, so, you know, grand champs, not too far off. I mean, that's, that's basically one, one more, uh, one more tier, um, which is much easier said than done. Yes. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely not going to hit the grand champ. I'm not 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 gonna get not gonna get there this season so I'm kind of just ready for the reset it's ready to start fresh and you know maybe do that stuff I guess nice um, but we just we still haven't heard anything yet so we're closing in very quickly on four months of this competitive season and I think in the year was it the year in review um, they talked about wanting competitive seasons to only last like three or four months. I think it was um, actually Reddit actually if I'm not mistaken, I think it was the autumn update which they talked about. I think um, you're right. Yeah. Because I think that's actually when we got the I think that's when this competitive season started and they kinda outlined what their vision moving forward with them is because that was a one of the big um that was one of the big uh I guess kind of complaints from previous seasons and from the community was that they just lasted too long. They lasted too long. People got stuck in the ranks. Um, they wanted a reset, you know, and they wanted the ability to kind of start fresh, especially if they had, you know, dropped some games. And, and I was, you know, we talked about that. I, I was in pure agreement of that. Um, soft resets, I think, are great. I think that's exactly what the, the game needs, and that kind of gets, uh, you know, that gets people back into it that might not be happy with their competitive rank. Yeah, I mean, because bottom line, the more games you play, the harder it's going to be to rank up. Right. Because you're just, you get kind of entrenched where you are, and even if you're kind of running on some, some winning streaks, you're 
you're still going to have a much harder time ranking up, and that kind of stinks. Uh, so that's going to be something that people are going to want every now and then, is just to shake it up, um, just to see if they can get out of the rut they're in, or maybe entrench themselves a little bit more in the rut they're in, because, um, you know, clearly that's where they're going to need to be. But we'll just want stuff like that occasionally. I, I do worry if at some point they need to do another hard reset. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> those those weren't super fun times um, for a lot of people because it just took so long for the ranks to settle out. But we'll see how that goes. I mean, I don't, don't want to put the cart before the horse a little bit here because um, the important thing is, is just getting a new season. Um, there was actually a breakdown on Reddit that showed the number of days in each season. Um, so here pretty soon we'll be hitting, be hitting on the second or third longest season um, after season three, which obviously season three lasted for like two years. Um, at least that's what it felt like. Um, so, I mean, we're getting pretty close to that now. So we've got to be getting something soon. They usually try and give us a little bit of lead time. I should have left that. My bad. Um, they usually try to give us a little bit of lead time so we can kind of settle out and get our wins at the end and and all that stuff if if we're just shy of, of a particular season reward or something like that. Yeah, I so feel like we'll see that soon. I feel like autumn update when they did that the last, they kind of gave this neat they kind of rolled it out, said, Hey, season's gonna end on this date, you know, we'll have more on the season rewards here in a little bit and they kinda trickled those out and then they got all of the you know, the backlash from having a dragon banner that nobody liked and and that's that everybody was. uses, by the way. I don't <laughs> yes. think we've talked about that. Um, they actually use, looked at the analytics for what banners people used, and people favored the dragon ones way more than the standard ones. Oh, yeah, of so. course. Of course, because everybody hated it, but then they wanted to troll everybody because everybody hated it, so then everybody used it, which is exactly what the Rocket League I, community would do. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that has, that has us written all over it. Yes. Um, well, the uh, the one thing I will say is, you know, I've I've made no qualms about how I feel about the uh, the dragons and, and all that, and uh, you may notice I have, I have some painted dracos on right now, and yeah, you um, do. I actually did use use the uh, the dragon banner um, because yeah, yeah, like the bronze one, especially right? higher, <laughs> yeah, the. Uh, the higher level ones actually look really, really cool. Like Diamond and Champ, I think look amazing. Just the way they were done. I, you know, I don't, I don't really care for, for the dragons themselves, but kind of the little animation that's in them looks really cool. Yeah. So I, I I'm with you. And usually when we get, uh, when we get a new season, new competitive season, we also get, uh, we also typically get. Please let that go in. This this game is oh broken. <laughs> what in the world? I didn't think that dude was just going to sit there and watch it fall. Um, oh, my gosh. Very typically, we get some type of, uh, you know, some type of new update. So we'll be getting something else that we'll be seeing. And, uh, and you know, we, we kind of talked about this a little bit before. Um, you know, we got to think about, we've obviously got RLCS that's really supporting um, the pro players, but you know the updates really aren't for the pro players. They usually bring something. We'll see. You know, we'll see. It'd be kind of neat. Although I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, you know, a new crate. I think it's a little early for that. Um, but I do think, um, you know, this this next update, um, it has to be for the casual players. It has to be for you know 90% of what the player base is, and uh, and and I'm I'm just hoping it's got some some meat to it I guess um, we, we can talk customization options obviously uh, the last real you know change to customization options we got was the trails and then we obviously had the addition of the goal explosions probably the you know the two most recent um, you know we had the the trade up uh, kind of variants which I thought was really good they added in a lot of new toppers uncommons banners all that kind of stuff which I thought was cool um, so hopefully that kind of stuff continues because you know, they've talked about wanting to support essentially the community or the portion of the community that doesn't spend money on keys. Um, so they, they've talked about, you know, revamping the, 
uh, you know, the level up system and, and tying some decryptors to that. That way to give, you know, players, honestly, to give players the opportunity to get something out of leveling up and then also, um, you know, and then also get more decryptors because I think that's the one thing that people really have asked for, um, which makes sense if, again, a portion of your community doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't buy keys and doesn't play the game to open crates. Um, this gives them the opportunity to do that or if they don't trade a lot. So um, I just think it's important that in this next update, we got to have some meat to it. And I think that will be important to kind of keep the, the momentum of this game where it's going uh, moving forward and I and I think that's you know hugely important because honestly if this competitive season changes and the update that comes with it kind of flops there isn't a new game mode there isn't any kind of cool new customization options um, I'm gonna be honest I think while you probably won't lose player base I do think that your your core players since it's been so long since we've had any kind of significant update to the game outside of you know season type uh events and seasonal crates i think you're gonna see that you know some players not get bored with the game but probably be disappointed that they're not getting something you know in addition to you know all the cool stuff and all the time and resources that they're putting into um you know the competitive scene well and that's that's the one thing that i think we we all talked about it at the very beginning with when the crates started coming out and having free DLCs and stuff is it, it was intended to be a uh, the the standard with kind of the the microtransactions and, and letting the few pay for the updates for the many basically right. and, and letting the the small amount of people that spend keys which well into bet it's it's higher on a game like Rocket League sure. Um, letting letting that amount of people pay for the DLC for everybody. Let them gamble, let them have their fun, let them get their items, and then they get to pay for basically all the DLCs for for now and beyond. Um, so we we kind of need to focus on those on on that idea and those people that I, I like rewarding the people that spending the money but also reward the people who just bought the game mm -hmm. uh, you know because that's 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 really it I mean I don't have any more expectations for you as a consumer right other than just buying the game but I mean in and to kind of point at like you were saying pros versus everybody else and, and everything being focused on them um, just on reddit earlier today the playtime for pros uh, was compiled and what we found was people like Kronovi and Squishy have over 5,000 hours into this game. It's just crazy. I mean, that's that's a ton. That, that's just that's hours that the rest of us are just never going to get to. But we're still going to invest a lot of time and a lot of money uh, into this game, and we're going to keep the game strong. Um, so uh, we'll actually go ahead and link that in, because I think that's actually really cool to see um, what kind of hours these people that you look up to with their play style and stuff, how many hours it took them to get to where they are now. Uh, it's bananas. It's insane. But the rest of us are, are going to be the ones kind of spending the money and, and focusing on just keeping the game strong on a day-to-day -day basis. One statistic that we talked about that would be interesting to see would be uh, would actually be to see how the crates, the crate purchases, how well the Halloween and the Santa crates um, actually did in helping that uh, helping season five get to the price pool that it did. Yeah, five hundred k is pretty good. I, I would, I actually would also be really interested to see how much of that was was helped by purchases from from the community versus say like advertisements and, and sponsorships. And and you know. Definitely, and also, you know, the viewership of, um, you know, putting it on TV and, and doing the Twitch streams and just all that different kind of stuff. Yeah. I, I will say, I do think, um, I do think good crates, <laughs> these, these games are going really weird. I do think uh, good crates, <laughs> like the Velocity crate that we had, successful in that regard. 
um, obviously helped. Um, I think it was pretty well received, and I think uh, I think that was a big piece of it. Yeah, I mean that's and that's why I think they really need to push to get black market decals back in the crates. Yeah, that, that's going to bring them a lot more money. In. Definitely that, and in in addition to just having good crates that the community likes. Um, I actually think the PCC shakeup was another good idea. That kind of reinvigorated people uh, wanting to get those. So I think that was another good, really good idea. Um, like I said, I I really, I really do want to see how well Secret Santa crates sold. I I have a feeling, you know, I have a good estimation. That's not a word, but I have a good est estimate. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> I have a good estimate. I think on kind of how the Halloween crates did kind of based on what they're priced now, kind of what the items were inside. But I really do think the Secret Santa crates, I feel like those had to sell pretty good. And obviously with the crate being unlocked, being at a higher price point, that had to help. I'm sure, yeah. And I'm like dying over here. So, so. I, 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 it would be interesting. <laughs> hopefully... Hopefully we get to see that statistic at some point, although I don't know if they would ever disclose that. Um, but it would just be really kind of interesting to see how that played into it. And, you know, that that would actually be kind of a motivational thing, not necessarily for me, but I think for some people, if, the, you know, a lot of people like us, pretty invested in this game, I have no problem buying some keys uh, to, you know, open some crates. I think, um, you know, it could lend to the conversation about, you know, drop rates and things like that, if it is that significantly, you know, that significant of an amount helping, um, it might be worth having the discussion about, you know, up that drop rate a little bit, get people to buy some more keys and see how that impacts it and continue to grow uh, that competitive side. Yeah, I, and I, I understand maybe some trepidation with them on, on pushing too much on people buying keys and stuff, but uh, honestly, I'm in it, man. I'm, uh, I'm, I like it because there's still the opportunity for you. You can get anything you you would ever want without ever actually having to spend money if you want to invest the time and effort. Definitely, definitely, definitely another avenue. Like we said, talk about maybe the more casual player that um, you know can get into trading a little bit and and kind of use the crates as a form of currency and and trade up to get some items and then. Therefore, gets an item that they like, plays the game more, gets more people, gets their friends involved. It's just kind of a snowball effect that, um, you know, minor tweaks to it, I think, really continue, you know, again, a good update here, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. On top of, you know, RLCS obviously growing, um, kind of just keeps the game moving forward. So, be really, really interesting to see. And with that, before I die anymore, we're going to wrap it up. So back into Rocket League action, as always, we're going to have some more news. Anything that comes out in the near future, we'll definitely be letting you know. We're definitely going to be getting in some more games as well. So stay tuned to the channel if you haven't already. Please do subscribe. definitely helps us out. And, uh, and we just really appreciate, appreciate you spending some of your time with us and kind of just letting us chat and, uh, and speculate a little bit. Um, like I said, when a double paint and drop weekend hopefully eventually ever comes, We've got a ton of crates that we're sitting on. We're going to do some crate battles. We're going to do some cool stuff. We're just going to crack all these crates open. We've got a lot of them, um, and that's going to be a really good time. And hopefully we'll get some pretty cool stuff out of it uh, as well and just be able to chill with you guys. So, as always, thanks for watching. I'm Doc. That's Sloth, Average Gamer Guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.